All right, so a question I get fairly often, often it's like from like my parents or my grandparents is, how is college, how's it going? So I thought I'd make this video about what college is actually like. Because I feel like a lot of things I thought college would be like when I was going are not how it is. And I think people explain college differently than it actually is. So in this video, for anybody who's not in college and is going to college soon, like you high schoolers or younger kids, I'm going to explain what college is actually like and like debunk some college myths. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Now, uh, I want to note, I'm speaking from my own experience. This, this could be different for so many other people, but... Um, I, I came, Ella, shout out to Ella, she came up with this video idea, I think, and she and Avery helped me come up with stuff to say, and it's basically like my experience, what I think, and what they thought, and I think it's kind of a general consensus of people who are actually at college. So, yeah, yeah, this is just my experience, here we go. Alright, number one, professors care if you come to class. This is a myth, like, honestly, they don't even care, and they would not even notice. It's incredibly easy to skip class in a SDSU I where I go to school you don't have to like swipe a card or anything like they would have no idea if I went to class or not and right now because of COVID you can just zoom into class like you don't even have to leave your dorm if you really don't want to like high school where like you get tardy and stuff not a thing at college I think you already knew that but the professors do not care if you come to class uh, they're not gonna worry about you of all people because they probably have hundreds of kids in that class so they do not give two craps about you so you can skip class super easily that uh, now I'm not saying you should skip class but you can the next one is that college is harder than high school and I would say not necessarily this isn't like college is not necessarily harder than high school like being in high school I took dual credit classes so I took some college classes when I was in high school and when I got to college like it was nothing different like honestly at college you have less busy work so like you're not just like doing dumb worksheets or like having to go read a bunch of dumb stuff. Like if there is any busy work, you don't really need to do it. Like you don't sometimes you don't have to do it to even like do well in the class. And there's an easier grading scale. Like my high school, our grading scale to get an A, it was like ninety seven or something and up. And at college you get ninety, that's an A. Ninety and up's an A, eighty and up's a B. Like it's it's an easier grading scale. And uh the, the one thing I will mention is college it requires kind of more detail and effort. Like, you actually have to try if you want to do well. Uh, whereas high school, you, well, it depends. Like, college, it's not necessarily harder than high school. So don't be, like, super intimidated by it. It's not really that much harder. At least not your first year. It'll be kind of gradual. Uh, next one, this kind of leads into it. Um, you need to study all the time for college. And this is just not true. Like, okay, if you studied in high school a lot, then you're gonna need to study in college a lot. It just, it's just like the same as high school. Like I studied just as much for college as I did in high school. There's no difference really. It's just like personal preference. And I, um, cheating is a lot easier at college, especially right now because of COVID. I mean, all my exams are online, and ninety percent like you can just have another computer right there. Or you can have your phone right there. It's incredibly easy to cheat. Um, so you they don't need to study at all sometimes. Now, I'm not condoning cheating or saying you should or saying I do, uh, but uh, don't cheat. Okay, this is just life advice, advice for everything. Don't cheat on a class that's actually going to help you with your major. Because if, it, if it's like for your major, it pertains to it, then you should want to learn that. If you're just going to cheat on it, then you're not going to learn anything, and that's kind of, kind of it's like ruining, like, why are you paying for it then? If you're going to cheat, you might as well not pay for it. So, yeah. Um, you don't really need to study all the time at college, contrary to what they say. Maybe this will get harder as it goes. Maybe I'll make another video like this, like my senior year of college explaining stuff. So, Right now, uh, I don't have to study that much. A myth is that you, you're on a set schedule, like it's a strict schedule, and this is not at all true. Like, if compared to high school where you have like, you have class here, class there, and like, it's kind of like scheduled for like 8 hours a day. At college, not even close. I have maybe like three classes a day max, and classes get canceled all the time, especially now because of COVID. Like, more, my teacher got COVID, boom, we don't have class today. Or there's a snowstorm. Granted, you don't get as much snow days as you do in high school, at least where I'm from. Um, but it, class gets canceled all the time randomly, and uh, 
you can you can skip really easily like I said and you can just do what you want like you don't want to go don't go and at college well obviously you're you're an adult you're free like you don't have to go do anything you can choose whatever the heck you want to do you have so much freedom it's nice um another myth that I think is kind of common like I feel like people think it's hard to get into college that is not at all true I don't think getting into college is hard at all I mean it's hard to get into like prestigious schools but I have friends who got like 15s on their ACT or even lower and you can you can still get into school like you can get into colleges there are colleges they want kids they want you because they want you to pay they they want your money so you, even if you have like a terrible ACT score or you're not very smart you can still get into college somewhere like colleges take so many kids they want your money they want more kids so it's not really that hard to get in college I promise also um, you can negotiate like you can call and negotiate if needed like say you don't have enough money I, I mean I didn't do this but a lot of times if you just like go to the office like the, the scholarship office or like call the school and like say straight up like I need more I need more scholarship money like I can't come to college if I don't have more scholarship money or whatever like if you just like provide a reason and like give them a reason to like give you the money sometimes they will and that's just what I've heard and I've heard from like a relative of mine who is an admissions guy and he said like that happens all the time so I want in doubt you can just call and negotiate if you want to get into school or you want more scholarship money just call and negotiate you can try it doesn't hurt to try Next one, you the the myth is that you need to know exactly what you want to do. This is not at all true. Like I think everybody, most people I know at college do not know what they want to do and they're still unsure. So it's okay to not know what you want to do. That's what everybody thinks. You're not the only one by far. Um you can uh what was I going to say? Oh, you have like you have the whole first year or longer to change. Like if you don't know what you want to do, tell your admissions counselor or whatever. They'll put you in the exploratory studies or whatever because your first year and part of your second is just generals most of the time. So you have so much time to decide like, okay, I want to switch my major because um, I, I know a lot of people have switched their majors just this last semester, so the first semester. And yeah, like I said, most of, uh, most of us do not know what we really want to do. Uh, another one that's kind of fitness related, the freshman 15 is inevitable. So it's like the same freshman 15, whenever freshmen go to college, you instantly gain a bunch of weight because you're no longer in sports, you're no longer doing all these active things you used to do, and you're drinking beer now or you're, whatever, you're, like you're eating more food, it's just like you gain weight, the 15 pounds, and it is not inevitable. Honestly, I don't know many people who have gained a lot of weight since they went to college. I myself have not really. Um, it's just not inevitable. You should know, like, don't think, oh, this is going to happen. Just let it happen. You can control it. It's all up to you. Like, you still can go work out. You can control what you eat, control what you drink, and you get to choose if you want to gain that 15 pounds. I mean, it's pretty common because most people, like, don't really care that much, but it's not inevitable. The next one is uh, you should be intimidated by college. That's not true. I went into college a little nervous, like, because obviously I'd never really... I hadn't been to college and I was a little intimidated but once you get there like everything is just so chill like nobody really cares about much at all and there's not even if like your school is a bigger school and SDSU is a big school in South Dakota like there's not really that many people there like sure like the parking lot's full but I don't see like a crazy number of people on campus and it's not like always packed it's not like super super populated um, so don't worry about that really like it's not it's not near as bad as you think it would be. And also, there's not many cliques. In high school, there's like all these cliques, like little groups of friends, you know, and like, oh, there's like this little sports clique. There's not really any of that at college. Um, I mean, other than like the sports teams, like they kind of hang out together, like football players, soccer players, basketball players, they kind of hang out together. But otherwise, there's no real cliques at college. Like, Nobody thinks they're better than you or think they're cooler than you and a lot of times the people who are like that in high school They're like super popular and like think they're better than others. They end up having like not many friends at college so uh, Now's your time to shine if you didn't feel like you had a lot of friends in high school Like don't be worried that everybody just is wanting to meet new people too there Everybody's in the same position as you just remember that you are not alone at all Everybody's in the same position. You can definitely reach out and talk to people like saying hi to someone in the hall even like you might walk around like I wish they would have said hi like it'd be nice to like meet somebody on my floor in my dorm 
you can do that. Like, it's not weird at all. Nobody cares. It's so chill at college. And just like I said, everybody is in the same shoes as you. So don't worry. Everybody is, is this, it, everybody's feeling the same things. So it's, it's okay to feel what you feel. All right, I want to add this one, and I forgot to mention it. But another myth is that college professors are super professional, and you have to be super professional with them. Yes, it's good to be professional with everybody, but college professors are not that professional. I mean, some are, some aren't, but some, uh, like, in their emails, it'll sound like they're just texting you. Like, it, it's literally, you can tell, like, they just were on their phone. It says sent from my iPhone at the bottom sometimes, and it's just like a one-word response or something. Like, it's not always super formal. They're not super professional. They're normal people, and uh, the other thing is they, they go by a first-name basis all the time, like... Some people want to be called doctor, whatever, or professor, whatever. Uh, but most of my professors just like to be called Craig or Eli. That, like, that simple. So, called professors, don't be intimidated. They're not scary. They're very chill, surprisingly. So, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I honestly think college is easier than high school, and it's just, like, a really easy time. Uh, and it's because I have so much more time, and I get to do what I want, like... I don't have to do stuff I don't want to do. It's all up to me. I get to choose. Um, granted, I don't have a job. Like, this is kind of my job. Like, making videos, work on my fitness stuff on Instagram, TikTok, and making my website and stuff, which I'm doing right now. Coming out soon, guys, I have a website where I'm going to offer coaching and uh, workout programs and maybe merch one day. That website, hopefully, will be ready this like this coming week. So be ready for that, and I'll definitely share everything about it. I'll probably make a video here and sometime on Instagram about it. But, yeah, coming soon. Um, yeah, I think college is easy, easier than high school, and I like it. I'm having fun. It's pretty chill. Plenty of opportunities to have fun. Plenty of opportunities to just chill out and do what you want. It's nice. Um, don't be too intimidated. It'll all work out. There's always people that are in the same shoes as you, so it'll be okay. Um, if you have any questions that I did not answer here. Um, there's some stuff I didn't really talk about because I didn't feel like I should address that in a YouTube video where there's younger kids that watch me and like uh, it's just public. So if you have questions, more like, I don't know, risky per se questions or something I didn't address in the video, don't be afraid to DM me. Like shoot me a DM, comment on something, DM me actually, DM me and then I can talk to you or answer your question gladly. I like talking to you guys like helping you guys all that stuff you guys are the best thank you for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as well as maybe throw a comment down below that stuff all really helps me out a lot and we've been making some crazy growth guys like uh, I hit 200 subscriber subscribers like a week or two ago and now I'm almost at like 215 I think 210 215 um, and this is just crazy I remember being at 40 subscribers and now I'm here and I'm really thankful for you guys I love doing this. This is fun. Um, I appreciate you guys helping me, uh, giving me a reason to continue doing it, like giving me a purpose. Um, I like doing this, so thank you guys for following me and helping me out everywhere. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, great tomorrow, great yesterday, great life. Love you guys. Bye-bye.